So we start the day by putting on my daily armor. Um, I generally don't leave the house until I have my brows drawn on and my eyeliner on. And it's just been like that for years. I don't know. I feel, I feel naked without it. So we've got, like I said, some brows, some liner, and now we can go. Won't nobody love you the way they should Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good Won't nobody check those body tendons by your neck All First of all, hi everyone, my name is Becky Park. I'm a part-time reseller on a bunch of different platforms and typically on my channel I do like what sold videos, I do a lot of thrift hauls, that sort of thing. It's been forever since I've done any sort of vlog, so I thought I would just kind of take you with me today on the different things that I'm doing. I've got some interesting things happening and maybe um, we'll ship together. I don't know, I, I don't even know who finds these things interesting, but I thought I'd take you along for the ride. Today is Friday, and a week ago today, during my lunch hour, I tested positive for COVID. So I have been out of school for a solid week now. Um, thankfully, today is just parent-teacher conferences, so I'm not missing anything with like kids, but it's been kind of a rough week. I have been just so sick and just, yeah, like I've had to take naps, like multiple naps every day, but I'm finally feeling like I don't wanna die today, which is amazing. So like I said, I have some stuff to catch up on. I have just some things to do and I thought I'd take you along for the ride and we'll just kind of work together um, like we're coworkers or something. So. I have a couple really interesting calls coming up. Um, one will be its own separate video, and that is on a new, I don't even know if you would call it a reselling platform. It kind of is, but there's this app called Fleek. You know, like, her eyebrows are on Fleek. Like, okay. It is essentially a website. It's kind of like, what is that one? Flip, that, that website called Flip, or the, the app called Flip, where, you know, resellers or wholesalers, they are sourcing stuff and then they are selling those pieces in lots for cheaper for other people to resell or do with whatever they want. So Fleek reached out to me, asked if I would do a campaign with them. I was, you know, they definitely piqued my interest. So we'll see what kind of stuff they have. Um, so I'm gonna hop on a call with them soon. So I'm excited. I like trying new things. Um, I like testing out the waters for you guys so that you can see, at least from my perspective, how things are. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how those calls go. But for now, I think what we'll do is pull the things that need to get shipped and maybe try to get shipping done before I hop on these calls, pretty doubtful that that'll happen because I only have 30 minutes, but we'll see. All right, there's just gonna be some weird beams of light going across my face because that's how it is. It's early in the morning. Well, not that early, it's like 9.30, but um, it's just, it's gonna be weird, sunny, this business, and that's okay. So, um, this is my breakfast from Panera. This is my notebook where I like to write down the things that I need to pull so that I can just take my notebook over to my bins and I can do the pulling. Um, so as we're kind of pulling stuff, we'll just chit chat about what's happening, what's been going on, all that kind of stuff. Um, okay, let's start with Poshmark. So I'm gonna do my best to multitask and to like do this while talking to you guys. Um, I don't know, I'll, I'll be honest. I feel like lately, and you've probably sensed it, but I feel like I just haven't been super motivated when it comes to YouTube, mainly because, I don't know. I feel like for me, at least, when I turn to YouTube, for me, it's always been to learn about stuff. It's always been to learn more about something. So for example, like I went to Disney this past summer for the first time with my family and it's been, I think the last time I went to Disney was when I was in high school. That was like, I don't know, 10, 15, no, like so long, 15, 20 years ago at this point, it's, it's just so long ago. My um, husband has never been, my kids have never been, so I felt like there was a lot I needed to learn about how to Disney. So I watched so many YouTube videos about Disney and how to do it, you know, and get the best bang for my buck. 
Um, and that was something that I enjoyed doing because I wanted to learn how to win at Disney. Um, I don't know. I know a lot of people, especially with my videos that are like longer, like long haul videos or even what's old, people will be like, thanks for hanging out with me. Like I really enjoyed watching your video and just kind of having company in the background. And I think that's really great. I just personally am not like that. I don't watch videos for that reason. And I think because of that, it has been hard for me to find, I don't know, like purpose or just passion when it comes to creating content because I don't feel like I'm learning anything new when it comes to reselling and so my motivation to make videos, especially as someone with a teaching background, just goes down quite a bit because of that reason. And that's not to say that I feel like I've learned all that there is to know. I definitely haven't. I just feel like I've kind of plateaued, especially because my mindset is like, I don't want to learn things about the things that I don't care to learn about, you know, which is dumb. But like, you know, I've been pretty honest in the past about how I have no desire to learn that much more about hard goods. It's just not something that I enjoy. And I think that's okay. I think it's okay for resellers to not sell all the things. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I've just been lacking in motivation. But I think one thing I'm trying to remind myself is that even if I don't feel like I'm doing anything new, even if I'm not discovering new platforms, even if I'm not, you know, X, Y, and Z, I think what I have to remind myself is that there are people who are new to reselling every day. And even if I'm sharing things that seem very simple or very obvious or you know I, I've only I've almost been reselling now for like five years and so I just feel like I don't have a lot of new information to share but I don't know I'm gonna try to come on more frequently and just share even the things that might seem simple because just because I've been doing something a certain way for however long doesn't mean that everyone else is doing it that way doesn't mean that you know someone else can't take something away from the way that I do things yeah so we'll see we'll see um, kind of what comes of that but I've just been feeling a little uh, when it comes to reselling okay what else sorry I'm um, right now I'm just going platform by platform and I am printing my labels you know especially with Poshmark and they do this with eBay really nicely I could ship in bulk like I could have all the labels sent to me and then I could just print them all together at once but because I go through and I like to write down you know who purchased what what the um, SKU number is all that kind of stuff like this is just the way that I do it I just print one at a time and and it works for me again you know different things are gonna work for different people um, but right now I'm on Poshmark and let's see on Poshmark I sold one two three four five six items I think that's over the span of two days though so nothing to be too excited about I think this is like three from yesterday and then maybe three from the day before if I remember correctly so I'm just pulling up the labels I'm printing them I'm writing down the name of the person the item that sold um, the SKU number and everyone has a different way of doing this I always get messages from people when I show my process for pulling stuff and people are like you're doing it wrong or you could save so much time if you did blah 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 like to each their own everyone can do it however they want and however they want is fine by me so we are just printing out the things that sold on Poshmark nothing like huge no huge sales lots of just your everyday bread and butter you know twenty dollars here thirty five dollars here and I'm okay with that. It's fine. One newer thing that I have started doing um, is putting my SKU number into list perfectly before I list so that that SKU number gets transferred over to all of my listing platforms when I cross list. That's been a huge game changer because then I don't have to like in that moment go into list perfectly to see where everything is. I just know where it is because of the fact that um, it shows up when I pull up the listing that sold so that's really nice um, you guys I'm so bad at selling sneakers I feel like but I did sell a pair of New Balance shoes not for a lot for like $20 but 
I'll take it. I, it feels good to kind of move some of those shoes out. And as you can see, oh my gosh, this lighting is so crazy. Um, I've got like a mess of stuff back here. So like the things in that Panera bag right there, um, those are all shoes that I photographed yesterday. The shoes that are in the middle of the floor, those are things that um, I photographed and I'm going to send into eBliss and I'm going to have eBliss ship them out for me and just store those items for me until they sell. Oh, this lighting. So when things sell, I will go through and I will end those listings on all the different platforms that I have them listed on. And um, all of the things that I am going to pull here that sold on Poshmark, I already ended the listings for, except for this pair of New Balance shoes. So let's end that listing everywhere. Okay, so moving on to eBay eBay, I have about three items that I need to ship, but also, and I'm like super irritated about this, I have like two items, and they're kind of like bigger sales, um, two items that people need to pay for. One is from like two or three days ago, and that always makes me nervous because it makes me think that they're not going to pay, and it's like a streetwear type item. It's like a vintage Nike piece, and I don't know why, but I feel like those kinds of items especially... Um, people just don't pay for it sometimes, which is really frustrating. The one time that I will probably go outside today, except for taking my son to school, will be to go to the post office and drop this stuff off. Yeah, so the other item that I am waiting for someone to pay for is a coach bag, and I'd really like for that to get paid for. I've got all of my eBay listings written down. I don't think I have any sales on other platforms. I did have kind of a snarky comment on Facebook. Um, I have this like Polo by Ralph Lauren full zip putty listed for $60 because I'm expecting it to sell around 50 and someone was like, why don't you just charge 30 because this is used? And I haven't responded, but I want to be like, why don't you just mind your own business and you can start your own reselling business and price things however you want. Or, okay, then go find it for 30 somewhere else. Like, I'm fine with that. I don't need your money. I'll take anyone's. But she can't find it for 30 which is why she wants mine to be 30 so anywho we are gonna pull this stuff let me just double check on mercari or as my husband and i like to call it mercar car i don't know why i don't know why we do dumb stuff like that i don't have anything on any other platforms i do have on depop an item that's sold but apparently the buyer has no plan on paying for the item anytime soon cool 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 yeah, nothing sold anywhere else, so let's go pull these items. All right, so we're walking over to the bins with my Ikea bag that I'm gonna put the bags in once I pull them, my little notebook where I wrote everything down, and we'll just get to pulling. So the first thing that sold, you guys, I'm giving you a glimpse of just how messy this playroom is, um, or like my reselling space. I would tell you not to judge me, but honestly, you can do whatever you want. I would probably judge me if I were you watching this. So, the first thing to sell is this pair of jeans by Liverpool, and I'll kind of go a little bit more. I'm trying to open this Ikea bag with my foot. I'll try to go a little bit more in depth as we like actually ship the items. Um, next up, oh, I already pulled that. It's over there. Um, shoes, I'll save for last. Seven twenty-eight. I have roughly like 900, almost a thousand things, like 975 items in these bins. A lot of this stuff, okay, I already lost the number while I was talking to you, 728. Um, a lot of the things are not listed yet, but they're just like in the bins because I've photographed them and they're just like waiting there until they get listed. I don't think I'm strong enough. Ooh, I don't think I'm strong enough to hold this while I pull things. This is a heavy camera. Okay, so this is the Lorna Jane workout top that sold. I've had that thing for forever. I was excited to learn about a new activewear brand, but it doesn't move super quickly. Um, next up is one of my least favorite things to sell, which is a Banana Republic button-up shirt. This is not what it looked like in the pictures. Like this is a lot more purple on it, but I feel like the purple was very muted in the pictures. All right, next up we have something of my daughter's that she never wore because 
She just never really liked to like dress up and wear dressy things. But this is Janie and Jack. I had a sale running on eBay and that sold there. These I was so surprised about and I'll talk about them more when I show myself shipping them. But this is um, a pair of jeans by the brand Cody Jeans. Never heard of it. Also, do you love this adult acne here? Love to see it. But um, those sold within 24 hours, which was crazy. And then the last thing that I'm gonna, oh, okay, I gotta put you down again. The last thing that I'm gonna pull from these bins before I get to some shoes is a Vera Bradley like wallet type thing. So let's see, it's number 700, nope. It's number 803. there okay let's get some shoes all right we've got our two pairs of shoes that sold let's go back over and do a little bit of shipping until it is time for my calls all right I you know I could continue to apologize for the lighting but I'm not in control of that so I'll stop because I know that's annoying sometimes when people apologize over and over again for things and then don't do anything to change them but um, the first thing I'm going to ship out are these pair of Sanitas. This is like a comfort wear brand, very similar to Dansko. Um, by the way, I need to like get my nails redone because look at this ridiculousness. Anyway, um, I don't remember where I picked these up, but you know, these are definitely a shoe that are susceptible to dry rot. So you just want to like do the dry rot test where you bend the shoes, make sure that they're in good shape. I believe that dry rot is often a result of just high levels of humidity, maybe wherever you're storing your pieces. Um, so these appear to be fine. These sold, you know, I don't have that information in front of me. Let me pull it up. Ooh, I just sold something else. Don't you love when that happens? Something sold on Poshmark, which is great. I did send out like 20% off offers on everything yesterday. And I think some of those sales could definitely still be coming in. So these sold for $40. I don't remember how much I had into them. Um, probably around like five to eight dollars, I would guess. I did have them listed for a few months, which I'm fine with. I feel like especially comfort shoes, I tend to sit on just because I think there are a lot on the market. But these, because they sold on Poshmark, I'm gonna go ahead and just keep it simple and ship them out in one of these um, priority mail shoe boxes. So I'm just gonna slip them in. I do have underneath my desk here, a bunch of like tissue paper that people have sent me in their packages or like the air pop bubble thing. So let's see, maybe we'll use some of these guys. Let's see how much I have. Or I've got this. I just got a lot of stuff. I save everything from packages that I get. I don't do like too much online shipping, but I do enough. And you know, I get enough stuff from doing the online shipping to use in my own packages. Um, I do have thank you cards that a friend of mine designed for me and I keep it pretty simple. I just write their name. So let's see, these are going out to Christina. So I just write dear Christina with my chicken scratch. I write thank you and I sign my name. I know a lot of people are like, it's such a waste of time for you to write thank you cards. It's such a waste of time for you to, um, you know, you could just throw the card and why do you have to actually sign it? But I can't tell you like how many times I've received love notes or feedback on eBay where they comment on the fact that they received a handwritten card from me. So I think that can go a long way. But anyway, I have all of my labels here. I wrote down the names of what goes to who, um, you know, people ask all the time, do you accidentally send the wrong package to the wrong person or like mix up labels? I definitely have done that in the past. I feel like it's a rite of passage to be a reseller is like you have to make that mistake at least once. You have to go through the pains of sending someone the wrong thing. By the way, this is like one of my favorite bags to use for reselling. I know people swear by the Ikea bags, which is fine. Um, those Hulkin bags, which I, I don't have any of, but this Panera catering bag, which I believe you can only get if you like, you know, get a catering order through Panera, or I found one at the bins. Like when they rolled out the new bins and I saw this Panera bag on top, I was like, 
hey, hey, that's my husband. I was like, you go get that bag first. <laughs> like these are just our favorite bags because they have some structure to them. They're not as floppy as the Ikea bags. They fit a ton of packages. I don't know. I love this bag. So um, that's what I'm putting all my packages in. Let's see. We have time to do one more. Let's do this other pair of shoes. So this is the pair of New Balance shoes that I was talking about. Um, they only sold for $20, which I'm fine with because I think honestly that's kind of where comp were and also like I've had these for a while they sold as part of my 20% off sale so I am gonna have to go to the closet where all the shoes are and grab another box for these although maybe I can actually put them in a different box I'll show you yeah 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 I don't know I feel like with these kinds of sneakers that aren't really that bulky I feel like a shoe box can be overkill. Let's see. So another box that I really love from USPS, by the way, most of you guys know these are all free, but I really like this box. It's the regional rate A, but I feel like it might be too small. Actually, I think these will fit in here perfectly. So let me show you. So with Poshmark, you know, part of the reason why people love it so much is because shipping over there is so easy. You know, you can use basically any type of box. Let's see. Oh, it is not the perfect fit that I thought it was. You can see it's just like kind of sticking out a little bit. Okay, we won't use this one. If these were a little bit smaller, we could have used those. Instead, let's try this box. I could just go get a shoe box, but I'm just being really lazy and not wanting to get up. But I have these in here too, in my bookshelf that'll collapse on me one day. Um, I have like a bunch of different variations of these kinds of boxes, these rectangular ones that you put together. They have like the adhesive strip over here. This one happens to be the medium flat rate box and it's a pretty good width. So you can put shoes in here and they won't get crushed or anything. And it's nice because you just remove the little adhesive sticker and then the shoes will go in super nicely. Voila. Um, and if I want to put, let's see, I've got more of like this kind of stuff. So I'll just put that in there so it doesn't move around while in transit. But yeah, so on Poshmark, you can use flat rate boxes, which this is. The other one that I tried to use first is a regional box. Um, and if you were selling on eBay, you can't just ship things out in these kinds of boxes without getting upcharged a ton. Like to send something for real through a medium flat rate, I forget how much it costs, but it's it's a lot. Like it's definitely more than $10 if I remember correctly. The regional rate box A, I forget how, I, I don't use these boxes very often unless it's um, for Poshmark. I wanna say it's like $9 and something cents. And so, you know, on eBay, you would would generally shy away from using these kinds of boxes it is gonna work to your advantage if you are shipping something out that is a specific number of pounds but a certain size you know it, it definitely has its purpose but on Poshmark you can use the regional rate boxes the flat rate boxes the priority mailboxes you can use them on whatever you want it could be like a necklace that doesn't weigh anything and you could send it out in a padded flat rate envelope if you want so that's one of the really wonderful things about Poshmark is it is so much easier to ship through Poshmark than it is essentially any other platform I would say okay so this went out to Alice I'm gonna stick this on we're gonna do our meeting and then We'll come back. We'll come back and finish shipping together. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, it's 10.03. I'm supposed to be on a call with Fleek at 10. And I don't know like how to, I don't know how to do the call. I thought for some reason it was gonna be a video call, but I'm like looking at the Calumly invite. And it just says we're gonna have a 15 minute chat, but I don't know how. I don't know if they're gonna call me. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what to do. 
many, many minutes later. I'm still waiting and I'm in constant communication with my contact over there and he's been very helpful, um, but really that starts with me. I was the issue. So while I'm waiting for that, I don't like to waste time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get some listings up for the day. Um, I have been pretty good about getting five listings up every day. I know in a prior video I had said I was gonna try to do 10. That didn't work but um, actually for the last couple days because I've been home I have been able to get 10 up I have seen an increase in sales due to the fact that I've been very consistent but also probably just given the time of year that we're in so I'm gonna just try to list some stuff while I'm waiting for this call to maybe happen and while I am listing I'll kind of talk you through I don't know anything that I can share when it comes to listing. So right now I've been listing a lot of stuff that I've been getting from my friend who you've probably heard me talk about in videos, um, especially in what sold videos because a lot of his stuff has been selling. It's been selling really fast, like within the week that I get it listed. And I got a ton of stuff from him. Like I wanna say close to a hundred pieces. Um, and I got this stuff a while ago, but I'm just getting around to listing it now. It's a lot of like Polo Ralph Lauren. It's a lot of mm, like Calvin Klein, J. Crew, that sort of stuff. But the Polo Ralph Lauren stuff especially has just been selling so ridiculously well and I'm gonna be listing a few more of those kinds of things right now. So how I do it is I have these items listed, you know, like the, the listing started and list perfectly um, when I take pictures of the items so that I have somewhere for the pictures to go. So um, because this wasn't something that I went out and actively sourced, I will just create the listing at the time of um, photographing the item and putting the item in to their little Ziploc bags that they go into and um, I now that it's in list perfectly all I have to do is finish out the listing because the pictures are already there and then I cross list it to all the different platforms so I've got let's see let's look back at this really quickly so today my five listings are gonna be um, a polo by Ralph Lauren hoodie, a pop icon, I don't know who sells that, but a pipe, pop icon, pearl button snap up shirt, um, another polo Ralph Lauren like zip up hoodie, a Nike hoodie, and then something that I got at a um, consignment store during their birthday sale. So a lot of his stuff, but then I'll do some women's stuff as well. So let's do it. And so for me, it just didn't work. Mm -hmm. the classes that I teach are like in the second half of the day. Yeah, that's interesting. I feel like I always do mine like this. Good news, the, the lighting is much better. So we're gonna finish shipping. I just finished my calls and one of them did not super work out, which is fine, but the other one was great. I'm really excited about it. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull that mountain hardware piece that sold. And let's see, it is in bin 360. I'll be right back. Okay, I got the shirt. It is this one right here. So we'll get that shipped out. Oh my God, I'm like out of breath from going up and down the stairs, which is really sad. Um, but I am actually going to purchase a bundle on Fleek. I found one that I liked. Let's see how simple this is. Ooh. This is what I wanna do. So right now you're gonna see my ADD in action in real life. So I got really excited because I saw that one of the payment options for purchasing this lot on Fleek was to use PayPal. And the reason why that excited me is because one of the credit cards that my husband and I use, the Chase Freedom Flex, you actually get like 5% back if you use it through PayPal right now. So I'm texting my husband right now to ask him if that is what I should do. But because it's not a very big purchase and because it's a business experience, 
expense, you know, we kind of come to the decision that it'd be best to just keep it on one of my business Chase credit cards. So that's what I end up doing. But like I said, I am texting with my husband to see if this is what I should do. By the way, if you want to learn more about how to play the credit card game to get lots of points and travel for very, very cheap, let me know because this is something that my husband and I have been obsessed with lately. I feel like I always have like eight things going on in my brain and so I don't know. I get really distracted and it's hard for me to like finish one thing before I remember, oh yeah, like I have to do that other thing and this is case in point me doing that right now. This is my ADHD, I feel like. All right, but we're gonna go back to shipping here now that that has been ordered and let's get into it. Okay, these are my notes from a different call that I had. I'll just put those there for now. Let me go get more of my thank you cards because I'm down to the last one from this stack. Okay, so I get my thank you cards from Vistaprint. Um, I forget how much everything costs, but I get them in packs of like a thousand or something like that. And this is my last chunk of cards. And what I do anytime I'm on the last of anything is that day I will just go ahead and order more. So um, they always have these little coupons. You can see here it says like save $20. So I will definitely use this. I get kind of like the postcard size, which I did not mean to get when I first ordered them. I think when I first ordered them, I thought that it was going to be more of a like half of the size. I thought it was gonna be this big, but you know, I don't mind this because, oh, I just smacked myself in the head. I don't mind this because it allows me space to write on the back and, you know, leave a personalized message, especially if I know that it's a viewer or something like that. I do like to write a little bit more. Um, my handwriting is really messy, so it's nice to have a lot of space to just be able to write big and obnoxiously, but I am gonna go ahead and order more of these since I'm on the last pack and I don't wanna be stuck without them. Um, let's keep shipping thing here. My ADHD is kicking in because I got some emails. I'm just trying to see. Okay. So let's keep shipping. Okay. This is the thing that just sold today. Um, I got it at Plato's Closet. It is this Mountain Hardware button-up shirt. Mountain Hardware is a good brand. It's similar to brands like the North Face and um, even like Patagonia, especially where their button-up shirts are concerned. They also sell jackets and um, you know, things of that nature, but this is just a nice button up shirt. I got it at Play-Doh's for really cheap as part of um, a clearance sale that was going on. It sold for $20 with this kind of ship, and it took probably a couple weeks. Hello? Yes. Hi, not bad. How are you? Let me know if you have any questions. We can chat some more as well if you'd like. Um, you know, things come up and you're like, oh wait, I didn't get a chance to answer this, or you wanted more clarification, um, we can get another call for sure. Will do. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, and have a great weekend. Happy thank Halloween. you, you too. Okay. All right, bye. bye. Well, that was interesting. Okay, hold on, let me get more light in here. Okay, so, one, I did not expect... I guess he was the, I was taking notes as he was talking. Let's see, he was the sales and marketing team or manager, or I don't know what you wanna call it. I feel like with these startups, like everyone wears so many different hats, but um, it was cool of him to call, even though it, I don't think it was his fault that that call situation earlier was like weird and <laughs> didn't go the way that I thought it was going to go, but it was really nice of him to still take the time out of his day to call and just have a conversation with me about Fleek. I thought that was really cool. So hopefully there's um, a more detailed video coming up regarding Fleek in the near future. And as you got to see, I did get some of my shipping done while I was on the phone with him. So I don't have all of the things to share with you regarding um, you know, the things going out, but that's okay. I don't remember what's in here. Okay, hold on. Oh, this is the sweater, the Lole sweater. Um, Lole is like an activewear brand. I don't think it's really that amazing. It's not, you know, at the same level as far as following as brands like, you know, Lululemon. I actually just picked up a different Lole piece. It was like a full zip vest and we'll see how it does. But that sweater finally sold for $20.
Um, this right here is something that I just listed the other day. It actually came to me, oh, you guys, I had this atrocious unboxing from America's Thrift Supply. I'm so sorry if you like that company. I, they just, they didn't give me a reason to be able to say nice things about it. They literally sent me garbage from a dumpster. So, um, one of the things that I got from them was a premium denim box. I think there were five pairs of jeans in the box. I don't remember how much the box would have cost. I want to say $50. And this was one of the things in that box. It's a pair of jeans by the brand Liverpool, which is sold at Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack. They were new with tags. But I don't consider Liverpool, that's a hard word to say. I don't consider it premium by any means. When I'm thinking premium, I'm thinking brands like A. Goldie, I'm thinking Mother, you know, those kinds of brands, not Liverpool. So regardless, I listed them and they sold literally within a couple days of being listed, which was really cool. I think they sold for like $31, $36, something like that. And this is going out to Kinda? Kinda. I don't know how to pronounce the name. I'm trying to think of like what I should put it in. Oh, I'll just put it in another one of those little regional boxes. So one idea I have been playing around with is, first of all, I have no plans on like not reselling anymore. At this point, it's just like a part of my day like it's a part of who I am and a part of what I do so unless something crazy happens I don't see myself stopping when it comes to reselling but that being said um I have been playing around with the idea for a while now of starting a new YouTube channel about other things that are not reselling and I uh, the reason I haven't started anything is because I don't know what it would be about. I feel like there are so many things that I want to talk about and so many things that I'm passionate about. Um, like, I feel like one thing I would love to talk about is travel and how to travel, not necessarily on a budget, like that's not the right terminology because I feel like when you see budget travel channels, it's all about like camping and you know, like traveling in a van. And to be honest with you, we're not about that life, but I think more so like how to travel with credit card points and making your money, make money for you and things like that. And just like traveling with family. Um, but also just like everyday family and mom stuff, like just hacks of being a mom and making the most use of your time and like what we get at Costco and I don't know. So I just, I've been like marinating on this idea for a really long time. And obviously it's a lot of work and effort. That's part of the reason I don't want to do it. I also just don't feel like I have a very interesting life, which is why it's kind of like, who do I think I am to have yet another channel where I talk about like whatever, but that's kind of what's been on my mind. So I'm curious, I'd love to hear from you, like what kinds of things would you like to see from me if I did start another YouTube channel? I think that's all the shipping I had to do. Let's see. Okay. And let's double check and see where's my, where is like everything? I don't understand. Like where's my phone? Okay. Hold on. Okay. What I want to do is I just want to check and make sure that nothing else sold. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think we're good to go. So I don't know. I feel like I'll end the video here. All I really plan on doing for the remainder of the day is I do want to film some videos. I do want to get some listings up. I'm going to eat some lunch now. That's pretty much it. I'll go ahead and end this here and I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, bye.